Happy Friday and happy weekend, folks. Today is another day for celebration as Final Fantasy XIV sweeps home two awards at the Game Awards show for the second year running, winning the best ongoing game award. And this is an award that recognizes franchises and titles that have been operating for a substantial period of time. And some of you out there in front of this video have been playing Final Fantasy XIV for close to a decade. Some of you maybe even more than a decade. And naturally, there are a lot of salty Fortnite fans, similar to last year when, you know, Final Fantasy XIV beat Fortnite for this award. And there was a huge amount of salt in the comment section, which I will cover in this video. Some of them are really quite funny to read. But more on that later, because I think it's important to stay positive and kind of recognize first how far this community has come. And yes, you can say all these gaming awards, they don't really mean much in the grand scheme of things. You can say that, but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't recognize that Final Fantasy XIV came from humble beginnings, came from a place where nobody gave 1.0 a chance to a decade later to see the game thriving in Endwalker. A comeback on such a scale is pretty much unheard of in video game history. And the moment we forget about those humble beginnings and the humble roots and the dark times that we came from, we as a community might start to take the game for granted. And that is why it's important to celebrate the wins along the way. Mal stones like that is what really makes my day as a content creator, honestly. And personally to me, this award is well deserved this year really just because of the launch of Endwalker. The culmination of 10 years worth of storytelling and insane saga, lots of highs, lows, roller coaster, emotions, tears that were shed. I can't think of a better way to wrap up the saga. And ongoing also implies there's a bright future for the game. I'm sure we are all looking forward to what 7.0 entails. There's a lot of chatter about the new graphical upgrades that will come in 7.0. Yoshipi and team have also signaled that there will be a great change coming to Eos like something you have never expected before. He said that in a recent interview and there's a lot to look forward to in the coming years. And I cannot be happier for the Final Fantasy XIV team, Yoshi P and team, you fully deserve this award. Although the salty Fortnite comments would disagree. <laughs> but before that, another award. We didn't just win one award, we won two of them. The second one being the best community support award. And what it boils down to is whether, I guess, the developers of the games actually show support to the community. And you know, every time I think about the support they give to the community, I always think back to the moment where Yoshi P announced that he's gonna stop the sales for Endwalker, their latest expansion, lots of marketing hype, lots of dollars being thrown to market the game, and he decides to pull the plug on sales of the game simply because there's too many people trying to get onto the server to play Endwalker. And that, the ability and the willingness to forego the short-term profits, short-term monetary gains for the long-term goodwill of this community is the reason why, to me, they are the most dedicated development team out there that truly cares about the players. And you can say words are cheap, it's easy to get in front of a camera, easy to get in front of a live stream, apologize to players for the delay, you can say talk is cheap. But what is not cheap is actually stopping the sales of the game, something that impacts the company's bottom line. And for him to make a call like that, I have immense respect for him. And I guess that is a very big reason why I continue to dedicate myself to this game because it's truly remarkable the amount of love they have for this community. So again, a big congrats to the Final Fantasy XIV team for taking home these two awards at the Game Awards show. And naturally, I'm sure you watching this video is very happy for them too. Although there are parts of the internet that aren't too happy, if you look into the official announcement on Twitter, where 14 has won the best ongoing game award, you will find a lot of angry Fortnite fans. Top Secret says, Final Fantasy 14 isn't a bad game, but Fortnite deserved to win this. Kevin says, Fortnite released zero build, new chapter, game is super popular and enjoyable right now and robbed once again. And Dakota says, I've literally never seen or heard of anyone who plays this and yet it won. Definitely a rigged award. Because we all know the barometer for how good a game is and how popular a game is, is whether anyone in your social circle and sample of friends actually plays the game. You know, in contrast, the Genshin fans who actually lost this award, they are actually really gracious. This person says, Final Fantasy XIV have the most chill community ever as a Genshin fan. It's an honor to lose to Final Fantasy. Congrats. And if you actually look through the thread, there's no like salty Genshin players here. It's kind of funny. Toast President says, how does Fortnite always lose this category? And how the hell does Final Fantasy win two years in a row? Ruin says, Fortnite robbed by this middle tier game. What a shame. And Nary says, I can confirm I've never met a person in my life that plays Final Fantasy. Yeah, because, and again, we all know the barometer of how good a game is, is basically based on how many of your friends are playing the game. Luna Darkness Adventure says, trash game. They bought their awards. I think he meant they are awards. Gage says, pathetic and snub Fortnite. Nobody is doing things like Fortnite and it's clear they are biased. 
Anyway, you folks get the point. If you have some spare popcorn at home, you can probably bring it in front of your computer and just read all the tweets from the Fortnite fans. You know, they were upset that they lost last year to Final Fantasy XIV for this award. And again, this year, I guess they lost again. And so uh, lots of people are unhappy. And you know, that also serves as a reminder to you. There are a lot of very passionate fan base out there for other video game titles that are competing for the same award as XIV, which also tells you for XIV to actually win this award. It's no small feat. There are a lot of big heavy contenders out there. So naturally as a 14 fan, immensely happy for Yoshi P and team. Speaking about Yoshi P, he was also at the Game Award on the broadcast to talk about Final Fantasy 16, a very hype review trailer. And yes, I'll be covering and talking about the trailer in my second channel. And I'll put a link to that in the description below. But the release date for Final Fantasy 16 is confirmed. A game by Yoshi P, how can I miss it, is coming in the summer of 2023. I will definitely be doing a playthrough of that and I'll be editing the MSQs as usual that will be posted on my second channel. And so with that, that's everything I wanted to talk about for Final Fantasy 14 at the Game Awards. Again, big congratulations to the 14 development team. And to all the Final Fantasy 14 fans out there, the day belongs to you. Celebrate. And if you like to stay tuned to more Final Fantasy 14 news and coverage, especially the upcoming producer life letter we suspect in December that will talk about patch 6.3. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. I will definitely keep you posted. I also stream on Twitch going into the holidays. Feel free to swing by to hang out, probably doing a Christmas stream. Last but not least, big thank you to my Patreon subscribers for keeping the channels alive. Have a great day. Happy holidays, folks. I'll see you soon.